Tropical cyclone Trevor has formed in the northern Coal Sea. And a warning sign, Cape Greenville to Cape Flattery, including Cohen, Leichhardt River, watch and sign, Cape York to Cape Greenville, Cape Flattery to Cape Tribulation, including Cooktown and adjacent inland areas. At 4 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, Trevor Category 1, sustained winds in the centre of 65 kilometres per hour of wind, wind gusts to 95 kilometres an hour, located within 75 kilometres of 12 decimal 4 degrees south, 146 decimal 1 degrees east. That's 305 kilometres east of the Leichhardt River, 500 kilometres north of Cairns, and is currently tracking west southwest at 10 kilometres per hour. And the cyclone formed in the northern Coral Sea east of Cape York Peninsula and it's expected to move in a west southwesterly direction towards the Cape and it's expected to continue intensifying and should reach Category 2 before crossing the eastern Cape York Peninsula coast later on Tuesday. Gales with gusts in excess of 90 km an hour is expected to develop between Cape Greenfield, Cape Flannery Monday night and may extend north to the Torres Strait Islands and south to Cape Tribulation including Cooktown on Tuesday. Now here's the tropical cyclone Warning Centre Brisbane offers first track chart of the cyclone which appears to be heading as mentioned Category 2 status on landfall. And according to other information, 20P located at 13 decimal 1 degree south, 146 decimal 3 degrees east, maximum winds at 35 knots, central pressure 1003 millibars. Now we have a look at various tracks. Bureau of Meteorology has issued a scale wind warning for the Peninsula and Cooktown case and the Bureau upgrades to storm force winds for Tuesday for the Peninsula coast and the gale warning for the northeast Gulf of Carpentaria, the Torres Strait and Cooktown coast. Now we have a look at some NOAA floaters Joy Time Food Warning Centre is now on board and in my uh, next update I'll bring the latest information from them and uh, Nathan will be uh, doing updates on this system in addition to other systems currently on the tropical radar. Abnormally high tides are expected about the far north Queensland case. Large waves along the beachfront. Heavy rain may lead to flash flooding forecast to develop across the far north Queensland case over the next few days. Now we have a look at the Bureau of Meteorology's 12 hourly rainfall. The rainfall scale is on the right hand side of the screen. We also have Invest 93S, I think it's over near East Timor.
This information is updated every 12 hours. The view is a total forecast of rain, and it's the area in blue free to the purple and pink. And the Trevor's track only has to uh, shift to a uh, south or even a southwesterly direction and the picture changes. Now one of my favourites is the GFS wind probability uh, model. It's available on the BSCH website and this is a look at winds at the 850 millibar level and each of these images are free hourly period from 4 a.m. this morning through to about mid-afternoon Tuesday and upper level divergence is around the 30 knot mark Wind shear, the wet's unfavourable, the green's favourable, and not very much room of uh, low wind shear. The 24 hour shear tendency, and not that much uh, blue for the cyclone at this point in time. And finally, we have a look at the Bureau of Meteorology's Willis Island uh, radar and followed by the Cairns Radar. And you can clearly see the rain bands from Trevor. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, our YouTube page youtube.com forward slash force13, on Facebook under the same name force13 and our Twitter handle, it's at force13 if you wish to get in touch. You can also add force13 on Skype and my personal account on Discord, fool13 at extension 9094.